Hi there, Tom again from the uh, Central Coast Astronomy Society. Talked to you a little bit before about um, use of binoculars in astronomy and said that there was a special option, a special device that you might find helpful um, to view the stars in a little more comfortable situation. This is a device known as a binocular chair, sometimes referred to as a couch potato telescope. And there was a kit put out um, many years ago. I got this about 25 years ago from a man in uh, Texas who put out a kit uh, to assemble these things. Um, so let's go through and assemble this and then see how we're going to use it with, uh, with our binoculars. We have um, a the, the platform here comes in two parts. One is kind of a, a ground board. We have a, these things open up uh, collap collapsible legs here. Use a cotter pin to uh, hold the legs in place. So it rotates like that. And we have a ground board here, and then we have a chair platform here that operates pretty much like a lazy Susan. Okay. And then on the top, we have a structure that is going to hold the binoculars. Got all kinds of bungee cords here to hold everything while you're transporting it. Now the uh, the platform and the ground board are three quarter inch plywood. It's a little heftier than the original kit uh, described. You could use five eighths inch plywood or even half inch to work just as well. But I wanted something that was a little a little heftier. So now we have. A, an arrangement here to support the binoculars. Thing rotates around like this and this is a fairly interesting design it's made up of um, PVC pipe and um, aluminum tubing that fits on the inside and they're uh, connected by uh, these friction joints so that you can move this thing about any particular way you want to to uh, support the binoculars. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to use the 10 by 50 binoculars and on any binocular um, uh, right at the uh, right in between the two objective lenses right close to the focusing knob there's a little emblem usually describing the company and that gets removed so that you have a um, place here for a one, one quarter 20 screw to go into and that's how we're going to attach it to this cross beam up here. Be 
careful we don't lose this thing here now. Put it on there nice and firm. Just use a screw cap. Take off the uh, the lens caps. Don't forget to do that. But I always keep them on there as long as I can, just so they uh, they stay nice and clean. Okay, and so there is the binocular part of the binocular chair. The chair is kind of like a a beach chair. It is a beach chair, not kind of. Um, and I made some modifications on it. First of all, you want to make sure that you get a chair that has arms on it. And you want to make sure that you can um, uh, alter the position of the back so that uh, you can lean way back on this thing. I also put a headrest on the thing, um, just a little piece of foam. And interesting enough, I've got some pipe foam insulation on the legs that go on this. And this has to do with limiting uh, vibration, body vibration and things like that. This is especially good if you were going to use something other than 10 by 50s. You get up to those 20 by 85s, you can actually feel your heartbeat or you can see your heartbeat um, in, the, uh, uh, in the binoculars. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in here. A couple of clips toward the front here where the legs fit into. Okay. And so, getting prepared for observation at night. Sit in the chair, push these things up. And the nice thing about this, especially if you're, say, at this particular level, and you're looking out at the horizon, uh, good southern horizon, eastern horizon, close down, this is the neat part, because I can bring the binoculars down and let go. This is hands-off binocular astronomy. Now, this is especially nice if you've got a star chart, like from Astronomy Magazine or Sky and Telescope, and you can just lay this on your lap. You've got a headlamp or something that, of course, you would just use um, red light on, and so that you can find out what you're, what you're going to be looking at, put that thing down, set that thing up, and then just observe. And notice that you can go in azimuth by moving your feet. You don't have to touch that, touch anything. You just follow. And this is what's really nice for following the Milky Way. Okay? Now, what if, and this is where it's really uh, good, is when you want to look at something overhead. Now, if you're, if you're hand-holding uh, something, looking straight overhead, it's really kind of rough. But if you put this back, no, I don't want to put that quite that far. If you want to be back like this, you can bring, bring them down just like this and scan the skies. Now, 
there can be complications with this because if you're out on a nice warm summer night um, maybe have a little beverage on the side you put your earbuds in and you're sitting there pretty soon you can just kind of drift off and it has happened to me more than once but this is a wonderful way to observe the heavens with binoculars. Now there are sites on the internet uh, where you can look up a couch potato telescope. Uh, I no longer have the plans for this thing. Um, but there are many examples on the on the internet where uh, you can you can find that. I do have a recommendation. Uh, this book is Touring the Universe Through Binoculars, a complete ast astronomer's guide by Phil Philip uh, Harrington, and uh, it has uh, wonderful uh, examples of things that you can see through your binoculars.